For the next 100 days, I'll be transforming into a bunch of crazy cars. Using my speed and power, I'll fight off the competition in high-speed races, chase down the bad guys in hot pursuits, dare to perform death-defying stunts, and mow my way down to the finish line in Minecraft. Will I be able to survive and transform into the ultimate supercar? Stick around to find out. On day one, I spawned in as a rusty car on a conveyor belt. My parents and I were about to be turned to scrap. A massive Trugosaurus loomed over me, along with my friends trapped in hanging cages. All of your friends will watch as I harvest your parts and use them to become the ultimate life form. No! I tried to drive against the conveyor belt, but I was out of gas. It was no use. I continued to get pushed closer towards the edge. Max, run! My mom plummeted into the grinder first, getting killed instantly. Hurry! Soon after, my dad was compacted and crushed right before my eyes. I was the only car remaining. Mom! Dad! Just as I was about to meet my end, I spotted a mysterious gold car key waiting for me on the conveyor belt. On a whim, I did everything I could and reached out to grab it. Once in my hands, I suddenly felt my body transform. My rusted metal was painted over in a new flashy color, and my shape turned more sleek and modern. I was now a race car with five additional hearts. What is this? I tried out my new speed, and thanks to my transformation, I managed to break off the conveyor belt. He's getting away! After him! On day two, I was speeding for my life in my race car form as the Truckosaurus' motorcycle goons came swarming after me. I thought I could leave them in the dust until suddenly I spotted cows in the middle of the road. Oh no! Out of the way! I wasn't able to stop in time and plowed through a few of them. I was now surrounded by tons of cows with no way to escape. The Truckosaurus' goons are gonna get me! Suddenly, my body changed form again. I turned black and white and gained flashy lights. I was a police cruiser! I used my new sirens to alert the cows to move out of the way. Whoa, I wonder what other cars I can transform into. I didn't get to celebrate for long as the Truckosaurus goons began to close in on me. I tried to speed up, and to my surprise, the goons slowed down. What the? I looked ahead and realized I was heading straight for an unfinished bridge, and I was going too fast to stop. <coughs> I flew off the edge towards the massive ocean below. On day three, I plunged into the cold ocean. I sank to the bottom, and as a car, I wasn't able to swim. I was going to drown. Just before I was about to pass out, a boat managed to pull me out of the water. What are you doing here? A storm is brewing. What? Suddenly, clouds began to gather in the sky, and it began to pour down rain. The boat tried to pull me through the violent waves, but things got worse when a horrific sea monster popped out of the water. We made haste as the beast chased after the two of us. It inched closer and closer, and the waves were too much for us to handle. I'm sorry, lad. I can't hold you much longer. Finally, the line snapped, flinging me back into the water below. I couldn't hold on. Everything went dark. On days four through five, I woke up washed up on the shore of a beach. I only had half a heart remaining, but I somehow survived the storm. I have to get back to the junkyard and save my friends. Just then, the ground began to tremble. Something big was coming. I quickly found cover in a nearby cave as the Trugosaurus searched for me. Where did you go, you pesky shapeshifter? If he catches me, I'm dead. I have to be careful. I crept around the area as the massive dinosaur truck tried to stiff me out. I was making good progress until a little RC car popped out of the bushes, startling me. Beep beep. Ah! By mistake, my police sirens turned on, causing the Truckosaurus to lock into my location. There you are. He stampeded towards me and I sped off as fast as I could. On days six through seven, I was being chased through the mountains by the deadly Truckosaurus. I wasn't as fast in my police cruiser form, and the dinosaur was gaining on me. I tried with all my might to get ahead, but I accidentally drove over a weak spot on the ground. The floor crumbled under my wheels, and I plummeted into the depths. I managed to land in some shallow water, narrowly saving me from death. I can't survive like this. I need to find food now. I began to scout out the underground area until finally finding a stash of food. I quickly picked up some grub and scarfed it down, healing back to full health. However, I heard mechanical noises coming from behind me. What else is down here? I turned around and realized I was being chased down by some scrapyard goons. The Truckosaurus' minions are still after me! The goons used their iron claw hands and saw blades to try and rip me apart piece by piece. They were set on turning me into scraps to bring me back to the Truckosaurus. The saw blade goons used their spinning blade limbs to slice into my armored body. I was only a car, so the best I could do was ram into them, causing minimal damage. I dodged and weaved around the deadly saws as the motorbike junkyard goons continued to tail behind me with no end of stopping. I managed to take down a few, but it wasn't enough for me to win this fight. 
I ran towards a pillar to keep myself from taking any more damage, but I was now surrounded. I fought as hard as I could, but I didn't stand a chance against the swarm. Just as I was about to meet my doom, my body transformed once again. I grew bigger and sturdier, and I gained industrial grade tools. I was now a steamroller. As a steamroller, I now had much more strength than before. The goons tried to attack me like before, but they were no match for my mechanical roller. I plowed through the horde, crushing them one after the other until they were reduced to scrap metal. Who made this power? Maybe they can show me how to control it. Suddenly, a menacing Truckosaurus goon arrived in the cave. <laughs> Look what we have here. Time to turn you to scrap. I could tell just by looking at him he was tough. I took my chance and sped away as the massive foe pursued me. On days 8 through 9, I was being chased through the underground by the powerful goon. I didn't have as much speed as a steamroller, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't transform into something faster. I couldn't fully control my power yet. Things got worse when I soon found myself cornered. The goon was closing in, and I knew I had to think of something now or die trying. I have to force myself through! I used my steamroller to plow through the rock in front of me, revealing an exit to the underground. I fled outside to find that a forest had been set on fire by the enraged Truckosaurus. To make things worse, the goon was still following me. I'm coming for you! He won't give up! I was forced to navigate through the dangerous flames of the forest. Deadly fires waited for me around every corner, and I was too slow to shake off the foe. In a moment of desperation, I used my steamroller strength to knock down rubble behind me, blocking the enemy off from my trail. Unfortunately, I quickly realized that I had made a great mistake. I was now cornered in an area surrounded by flames. I'm gonna be cooked alive! On days 10 through 11, the flames were closing in all around me with nowhere to run. Just as I thought I was done for, I felt my body transform once again. I grew in size and my paint turned a brilliant bright red. I was now a fire truck. I better act now. As a fire truck, I had access to water abilities. I used my new arsenal to put out the incoming fire and clear a path of safety. Suddenly, I was reverted back into a smaller form. I guess I'm not strong enough to hold a form that big yet. <sighs> Where are you? I realized I was still being hunted, so I drove through the path I had made before the goon could find me. I could feel myself coming closer to freedom, but I was once again stopped by the unforgiving tide of the ocean. Just then, I came to a horrible realization. I've been stranded on an island this whole time and I have no way off of it. Suddenly, the Truckosaurus goon caught up to me. You're mine now. The massive foe lunged at me and I braced myself. On days 12 through 14, I was facing off with the Truckosaurus goon. I tried to defend myself using my car powers, but they were a tough opponent. The sound of the whirring buzzsaw of the Truckosaurus goon filled the air as he swung at me in an attempt to turn me into scrap. His massive attacks launched me into the air, sending me back a few feet with each hit. As he charged towards me, a line of flame was left blazing behind him, and the battlefield was soon filled with fire and smoke. With his new form, there wasn't too much I could do against the Truckosaurus and his abilities. I continued trying to ram him with my small car form, but he was too strong. Fighting was useless. I needed to find a way to win this fight, or else I was finished. I was losing the battle, when out of nowhere, I tapped into my powers in a brand new way. Sparks flew around me, and my car speakers turned on at full volume. I gained the ability to blast booming sound waves at my foe, as well as five more hearts. The fight raged on, but with my newfound powers, I was able to stand a chance. He lined up for a powerful attack, but with my newfound speaker powers, I managed to blast through his circuits and take down the goon. This is incredible! If I can harness my powers fully, I'll be unstoppable! Suddenly, the ground trembled as the Truckosaurus revealed himself. I had been spotted! That'll never happen! I'm killing you here, and your little friends next! Just as I thought I was about to be captured, my boat ally from before arrived at the shore. Come with me if you want to live! On days 22 through 25, I dove into the water as my boat ally grabbed onto me and tugged me away from the incoming threat. To our horror, the Truckosaurus jumped into the water after us, chasing us down like an angry kaiju. Get back here! I was too heavy for the boat to pull me quickly, so the Truckosaurus was gaining on us fast. Hang on! I activated my transformation abilities and turned into a smaller vehicle to lessen the load on my ally. You have the legendary part of the crater? We can't let the Truckosaurus get his claws on that. Thanks to my new form, the boat was able to speed up and take me to a seaport where we were able to find some cover. Max, where did you get that golden key? Truckosaurus, he, he attacked my parents, turned them into scrap. Right before he was able to get me, I found this key on the conveyor belt. I don't believe it! You were able to fuse with it and become part legend yourself? Yes, but I'm not even strong enough to defeat Truckosaurus. I've been there, my friend. I may not look like much now, but years ago, I used to go out to sea. It didn't matter if it was calm or stormy. I'd be in water either way. <laughs> 
now I mostly take trips to see the sights. You've been around for a while. I've seen wars. I've seen peace. But don't you worry, Max. These runners are still seaworthy. Do you think I'll be able to make it? One thing is for sure. You're on your way. And with a part of the crater, who knows? Suddenly, we heard a big crash. Oh no, he's here! The Trekosaurus crashed onto the shores of the port and began to wreck everything in sight as he scoured the area for me. We don't have much time. Find the helicopter. He can help you. Suddenly, the Trekosaurus entered our hiding spot and blasted a powerful laser into my boat friend, killing him in a single blow. No! There you are. I sped off as fast as I could while the Trekosaurus continued to stomp after me. On days 26 through 28, I was being chased throughout the city by the evil Trekosaurus. I sped up, driving as fast as my wheels could carry me. Suddenly, I was met with a massive chasm blocking my path. You're gonna have to stop now! With the truck closing in, I had no choice but to try and jump the chasm. Revving my engine, I drove forward at full speed and left towards the other side of the chasm. But even at this pace, it was still too wide. I'm not gonna make it! Falling just short of being able to clear the chasm, I plummeted into the depths below and blacked out. When I awoke, I found myself floating above the clouds in some kind of heavenly realm. In front of me, there was a floating golden Lamborghini. Find the creator, and the answers will become clear. Who? Who are you? I'm you. Or rather, I'm who you could be. The creator has chosen us. Whoa. This was destiny? Yes, Max. We have the potential to be great. The potential to be the strongest, fastest car out there. Even stronger than the Truckosaurus? It is possible. Come, fly with me. Okay, but I'm so weak right now. The Truckosaurus has been chasing me down at every turn. I have so many questions. How? What's gonna happen? Have patience, Max. All in good time if you follow the right path. Sometimes you have to go left to go right. Before I could ask any questions, I was snapped back to reality, lying at the bottom of the pit with very low health. Is that the untapped potential of my power? I have to find the creator and learn how to unlock it! Just then, I heard the booming roar of the Drunkosaurus in the distance. Quickly, I traveled into the tunnel systems to find cover. On days 29 through 32, I found myself in an area of the tunnel full of boiling lava. The ground trembled under my wheels, leading me to a horrible realization. Oh no! I'm in the middle of an erupting volcano! I tried to back up, but the entrance behind me was already filled with the flowing lava. I had no choice but to find another exit. I traversed across the platforms within the lava, but unfortunately, the rising lava stranded me on a small platform. Oh no! I'm gonna be melted down by the heat! Just then, I felt my powers kicking in again, transforming me back into a fire truck. Aha! Water to the rescue! I sprayed my fire hose onto the lava, leaving a path of obsidian that I could drive on. Thanks to my incredible powers, I was able to escape the volcano. As I exited out of the tunnel, I heard some commotion from below. It was coming from a neighborhood at the foot of the volcano. Help! Help us! Please! Oh no! Those people need help! On days 33 through 35, I rushed to the people in need, but the volcano was violently trembling once again. The volcano was going to erupt at any second, and there wasn't enough time to save all the people one by one. If only there was a way I could carry everyone! Just then, my powers caused me to transform into a brand new car, and I became a moving truck. Everyone, hop on, quick! The civilians jumped aboard, and I sped off just in time, barely escaping the volcano as it erupted in a fiery ash. Debris flew everywhere as I dodged the falling rocks as best I could. There were a couple close calls, but I was inching closer and closer to safety. Suddenly, the ground trembled once more and caused even more of the area to begin to crumble, blocking off my path. I was now stuck on a single platform surrounded by lava. I wasn't gonna make it! I'm so sorry, everyone! On days 36 through 39, just as I thought all hope was lost, a helicopter swooped in overhead. Look out below! The copter looked out onto me and pulled me up into the sky, saving us from certain doom. The civilians and I were flown to safety and placed back onto the ground away from the threat of the volcano. All the civilians made it out okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you're the helicopter I was looking for. I explained to him my quest to save my friends and find the creator of the special part. And then you picked me up. Wow, that's a wild story. Golden Lamborghinis, Truckosaurus? Yeah. I've been on the run for the past few days, and I don't know if he's ever gonna stop. Truckosaurus really wants that part, doesn't he? It's the only thing that's kept me alive. It's given me the ability to transform. I don't really understand it, but I want to know more. Maybe you could transform into even more than you know. You could be a helicopter, like me. Potentially? We'll see. 
I just have no idea where the creator is. Oh, I know. I last saw the creator in the farmyard just south of here. Suddenly, the Trekosaurus' goons arrived at my location, led by their commander. Apprehend everyone here. I'll protect the civilians. Go find the farm. With that, I followed the copter's instructions and drove away. As I was cruising along at super high speeds, I couldn't help but feel like something was missing. And then it hit me. As a car, I can't wear super cool skins. Like these ones from my all new skin pack. Yeah, I have my very first skin pack on Minecraft Marketplace right now. It's called the Maxcraft All-Star Pack and features skins from some of my most amazing episodes. 15 awesome skins in one awesome package. Buy it on the Marketplace today. On days 40 through 43, I was driving out of the city in search of the farm when I suddenly heard someone behind me. I turned around and realized the commander was tailing me. Not looking to be captured, I picked up the pace. But I wasn't paying enough attention to where I was going and mistakenly drove into a thicket of sweet berry bushes, slowing me down. No! I tried to push through them, but it was no use and the commander was closing in. As panic and desperation began to set in, I started to transform into yet another vehicle. Now, I had become a green tractor. Out of my way, shrubs! Using my new form, I was able to mow down the bushes with ease. With the shrubs out of my path, I was able to keep moving as I continued to try and escape the commander. Just then, off in the distance, I spotted a hay maze. I took cover inside of it, narrowly avoiding the commander's detection as he followed into the maze as well, scouring the area in search of me. On days 44 through 46, I was being hunted by the commander through the hay maze. I tried to keep my engine as quiet as possible as the slightest sound could give away my position. As I turned a corner, I noticed the commander running right towards me. Luckily, he hadn't spotted me yet. I quickly moved back and hid until he passed by. He could be lurking anywhere. I wasn't able to find an exit, so I had to think outside the box. I used my tractor powers to mow through the hay, but unfortunately, I mowed right into the commander's line of sight. Uh-oh! I ran away through the hay maze as the Trekosaurus' goons chased after me. To my horror, in my panic, I had made a wrong turn and was met with a dead end. Oh no! I'm trapped! As the commander was closing in, I thought my time had finally run out. But right before he could attack me, the wall near us was torn apart, revealing a mutant pumpkin king. Ah! The commander left, leaving me to face the pumpkin monster alone as it lunged towards me. On days 47 through 50, the mutant pumpkin was quickly approaching me. He then stopped and the sky turned orange as he began summoning a horde of pumpkin goons. As the spindly squashes shambled menacingly towards me, I retreated to the outside of the maze. But to my horror, even more spooky foes were awaiting me outside. Their numbers were overwhelming and I needed to cut them down, literally. Wielding my mower, I began slicing through the vegetable forces on the ground. With them taken care of, I I had to shift my attention to the aerial enemies. Aiming my sonic blast at the skies, I fired at the specters above me, taking them out in mass with my ear-piercing booms. The Pumpkin King became furious as he saw me take down his minions. He stepped in to fight, but with his backup now out of the picture, his power was weakened. I used everything I had to defeat the monster. After a long fight, I cut him down to sides with my green tractor mower, finishing off the pumpkin for good. The sun came out and the sky was blue again. Phew, that was close. Before I could catch my breath, a group of Trugosaurus' goons sped in. Oh no, the commander called for backup! I sped off as the junkyard goons pursued closely behind. I had to throw them off somehow, so I mowed through a nearby patch of trees. I was carving my own path through the woods using my sheer tractor strength, leaving enough debris behind to stall the goons for a bit. Things seemed to be working out, but there was one major flaw in my plan. I can't see where I'm going! I was mowing blindly, and I didn't realize that I was headed straight for a nearby house. Ah! I bored a hole right through a living room. Excuse me, coming through! I was out of control, realizing that knocking over all the trees put my mower into overdrive. I tried to get a hold of myself, but before I could, I mowed right through a flower garden. My flowers! My house! What have you done? Sorry, it was an accident. The human was reasonably upset and yelling. Unfortunately for me, all the yelling allowed the goons to pinpoint my location. Uh-oh, gotta go! I drove off in another direction, hoping to lose them. On days 51 through 54, I drove through the farmyard as I was being pursued by enemy forces. I spotted a barn in the distance and thought it'd be a good idea to take cover inside. Come on, come on, whatever you are, scrap heap. 
I backed up deeper into the barn to hide, but felt a strange letter under one of my wheels. I picked it up and read it. To find the whereabouts of the creator, you must locate the key to guide your way. This is the clue I was searching for. In my excitement, I alerted the goons, who busted down a wall to capture me. I was cornered. There you are. Now, are you gonna do this the easy way or the hard way? I'll do it the fast way. In an instant, I transformed into a race car and accelerated, plowing through the goons with sheer speed and force, making my escape from the barn. Woohoo! More goons tailed close behind me, turning this into a high-speed chase. They're already catching up? Things were neck and neck. I couldn't let them catch me. Just then, I spotted a line of train tracks and got an idea. Powers, don't let me down now! On days 55 through 57, I drove onto some train tracks and began to focus on another transformation. Come on, come on! In the nick of time, my body transformed into a high-speed train. Yes, it worked! I latched myself onto the tracks and shot forward, throwing the Trugosaurus' goons off my trail. I followed the tracks for miles until I spotted a nearby race course. I quickly changed back into a race car and sped onto the track. As I entered, I noticed the grand prize of the race on top of a pedestal, a golden key. That's the object the letter told me about. I then drove over to the prize and made an attempt to grab it. Oi, hands off. If you want the trophy, you'll have to win a race against the current champion. Then sign me up and let me race him. Before I knew it, I was at the starting line of the race next to the current champion. Watch out, small fry. I wouldn't want to squash you. We'll see about that. I revved my engine as the race was about to begin. On days 58 through 61, I was about to start a race with the race car champion to win the golden key. Three, two, one, go! The race started, and both of us were equally matched. It was anyone's game as we rounded each turn of the racetrack. You're good. Thanks. But not good enough. I'm not letting you get my prize. The champ sped ahead, and with the help of his race car goon, they knocked over a bunch of objects to slow me down. Hey, that's cheating. I quickly shifted into my steamroller form and plowed through the objects without batting an eye. What? That's impossible! The champ was stunned, and I took the opportunity to zoom ahead of him and cross the finish line. Uh oh, we, we have a new winner. Looks like I'm the champ now. I'll be taking my prize, please. You, you'll pay for taking my title. I'll hand you over to the Truckosaurus. Hang on, did you say Truckosaurus? Out of nowhere, the former champion sent his race car goons at me. On days 62 through 64, the champ's goons tried to ram right into me, destroying themselves in the process. Hey, what are you doing? Doing? Take him down, boys! Another set of race cars came at me, and I sped off as they gave chase. I attempted to outspeed the other cars, but they were accelerating fast. We zoomed to the track, and one of them cut in front of me, exploding upon impact, sending pieces of his exterior flying around the pavement. I carried on down the pathway as the other goon followed close behind. Distracted by the pursuit, I didn't even notice a new car was barreling straight towards me. With no time to evade, the two of us collided, reducing the car to chunks. But nevertheless, the last last remaining race car refused to let up the chase. With the right turn rapidly approaching, I made a swift turn, whereas the car behind was moving too quickly and crashed into the wall at full speed. With all of the goons taken care of, all that was left was the champ himself. He charged towards me at full speed, but at the last second, I changed back into my steamroller form, flattening the foe beneath my massive wheel. And just like that, the champion was defeated. <laughs> Time to claim my prize. But just as I was about to grab the key, the little go-kart from before zoomed by and snagged it. Hey, you, get back here. As the thief rode off into the horizon, a police car pulled up to me. Hey, you, we need your help to apprehend that kid before it's too late. Yes, sir. I transformed into my police cruiser form and sped off in pursuit. Between days 65 and 67, I was in a high-speed chase with the RC car that stole my prize. We raced through the busy city streets as the cheeky vehicle tried to throw me and my police allies for a loop. You'll never take me alive, copper. The thief jumped a ramp and I speeded after him. The thief laughed as he sped through a light just as it turned red. Worst of all, two big honking semi-trucks were fast approaching. I gotta make it! I drove through the intersection, just narrowly missing the massive trucks. I then spotted the thief pulling into a car repair shop. Hey, hand over the golden key! Why don't you make me, bub? The thief drove inside, and the garage door shut behind him. Oh no, he's upgrading himself! After a few seconds, the door blew open and revealed that he had grown even more powerful. <laughs> 
From days 68 to 72, I had cornered the suspect and we were facing off. Eager to puncture me with the spikes attached to his grill, the opponent charged towards me at full speed. I narrowly dodged his attack, but I wasn't out of the woodwork yet. The vehicle propelled himself into the air, falling back down with great force in an attempt to flatten me beneath his massive tires. I barely avoided the blow, but that was only the beginning of his onslaught. The car charged wildly all around the battlefield, shattering all that it came into contact with. I had no choice but to retreat. Swiftly, I drove upstairs and took cover in a nearby building. I was confident that the foe would be too large to follow, but he plowed through the exterior effortlessly and our battle continued indoors. As the car collided with walls and supported beams, the inside of the building was reduced to rubble and my hiding spot was decimated. I returned to the outside, seemingly leaving the enemy trapped within the confines of close quarters, but he broke through the barriers with ease and gave chase once more. Unfortunately, their upgrade made them much tougher, and the battle was slowly beginning to slip from my grasp. I can't! I can't lose here! In a moment of desperation, I drove into the car repair shop in hopes of upgrading myself. Suddenly, the doors closed and sparks started sputtering out of me. I gained five more hearts in a new hydraulic system. When I emerged, I now had an upgraded police car. With restored confidence, I charged back into battle. Taking advantage of the foe's vulnerabilities, I aimed for his unprotected sides, ramming into them at full force. The enemy jumped into the air once more, but now I had the same ability and retaliated against him using his own attack. Caught off guard and backed into a corner, the car broke through the walls and peeled out into the streets in an attempt to evade me. But the adversary couldn't flee for long. Our fight continued as I unleashed the full extent of my new form, bashing into the enemy's sides, slamming down onto him from above and hitting him with my deafening sonic blast at full volume. Thanks to the upgrade, I took down the thief once and for all, causing him to return to his original state. Looks like you've been impounded. My cop friend arrived on the scene shortly after to apprehend the suspect. Thanks for the help out there, kid. Just doing what's right, sir. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I think this belongs to you. The police cruiser handed over my stolen prize. This is it! The key to finding the creator and saving my friends! But suddenly, I was enveloped in a golden light and disappeared. On days 73 through 75, I reappeared in another dimension where I was once again bumper to bumper with the golden Lamborghini hover car. You, you wish, wish to meet the creator, do you? Then you must overcome my trial. I'll do anything to seek ultimate power and save my friends. Very well then. I was teleported by the Lambo once again to yet another location in his mysterious realm. Navigate the obstacle course and reach to the portal. The car vanished before me, leaving me to start. Seems simple enough. The first of the obstacles was a pool of magma with no visible ramp surrounding it. So I thought smart and transformed into a fire truck, spraying the lava with water, turning it into obsidian. Next, I was faced with a huge bush blocking my path. So I transformed into a green tractor and used my mower to plow through the leaves. Finally, I was faced with a gap separating me from the portal. If I could pick up enough speed, I could surely beat this. So I turned into a race car and gave myself a good distance to speed up. This one is for all the marbles. I put the pedal to the metal as I approached my top speed to try and make the jump. I did it! Having beaten all the trials, I passed through the portal to meet the one I had been seeking all along. On days 76 through 79, I appeared back in the junkyard biome. There, I saw the creator standing right in front of me. I have been waiting for you. You have? Yes. You are the chosen one, Max. You're me, and I am you. I'm confused. I was creating you to be the best smart car in the world, with a golden exterior and a handsome voice. Not only that, but I was trying to install a special component to allow you to transform into any vehicle you could think of. All that was left was to insert the two golden keys and read the instructions in my letter but one of my other creations got jealous. I need to get that final upgrade so I can save my friends. All right, there are two parts to this endeavor. What is it? I'll do anything. The first is to retain power through wider external forces. Your viewers must like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more new awesome videos. Here, if you wish to tap into the full potential of your power, simply read this and all will become clear. The creator plays down a letter, but just before I could grab it, the Trekosaurus dropped in. You're not getting away with this, Dad! Dad? Oh, he didn't tell you? I'm his failed little experiment that was left to rot. The enemy unleashed his powers, killing the creator instantly. No! Blinded by rage, I charged in to avenge him. The Trekosaurus unleashed a devastating laser blast that destroyed the environment around me. If I wasn't careful, that would be me. I drifted around to dodge his attacks and got a few of my own in. I used my hydraulic stomp ability to damage my foe as much as possible, but he was just
was too powerful. He was big and bulky, but I was small and fast. So I raced over under a bridge, but he destroyed that too. Any cover I took, the Truckosaurus blasted and bit through to get me. I could hardly see from all the debris he sent flying. I tried to counter his attacks, but he just kept coming and coming. Despite my efforts, I didn't stand a chance against him and I blacked out. I woke up in what seemed to be a dream. Behind me were my parents. You can't let it end here, son. Dad? That's right. Mom! Dad! I've missed you so much! We've missed you too, son. You've come so far. You're on your way to becoming the ultimate supercar. But I let the Truckosaurus kill the creator, and the letter is gone. I've doomed us all. It's not over yet. You're stronger and smarter than you realize. Think of all the friends you've made along the way. They're counting on you. You're right. I need to face my fears and find a way to defeat the Truckosaurus. I can get that letter back. That a boy. We wish we could have been there to see you grow so strong. Don't let this truck fella be the end of you. Keep going, son. We believe in you. On days 80 through 83, I woke up inside of a cage hanging over a pit of boiling lava about to be melted down. I frantically tried to escape, but for some reason, I couldn't transform. I had to get the creator's letter back. But how? Things were looking grim when all of a sudden, one of my friends showed up. Max, you can't give up. They broke me out of my cage and rescued me. You came to save me? Of course. That's what friends are for. Suddenly, a group of guards swarmed the area, surrounding us. Stand back. I've got this. On days 84 through 86, I was facing off against the Truckosaurus's forces. With my extra quick race car form, I was able to crash into them over and over again at top speed. But the enemy's numbers were too great, and they were too bunched up. I wasn't making a dent in them. So I switched gears, jumping into the air and falling back onto the ground with such great force that I was able to send the Truckosaurus's goons flying. I kept crushing them from above, refusing to allow them to regroup. This made quick work of the bulk of their forces. Finally, I finished off the stragglers with a blast of my sonic boom. I knocked down the guards left and right until one of the goons snuck up on my ally and landed a massive sneak attack. No! Fueled by friendship, I was able to transform once again, this time becoming a giant giant monster truck. Using my giant wheels, I squashed the bow. Are you all right? Uh, I can't feel my wheels. I promise once I unlock my ultimate power, I'll come back and save you. Suddenly, more goons arrived to stop me. With that, I fled as the guards tailed behind me. Hey, Max Crafters. Want to help support the channel? Well, then go to the Minecraft Marketplace and get my very first skin pack, MaxCraft All-Stars. Filled to the brim with 15 skins styled after my most popular videos. From lions and dragons to sharks, this pack has it all. So don't wait. Use the link in the description and buy it today. On days 87 through 89, I was on the run from the Truckosaurus's guards. I need to get my hands on that letter if I want any hopes of controlling my final form. I zoomed around the massive junkyard trying to shake off the guards, but they were persistent. Nothing I did would make them let up. Suddenly, I heard the blaring of a massive horn as I had driven into the middle of a monster truck showdown. Whoops! <laughs> Coming through! I weaved left and right to dodge the raging monster trucks while the goons behind me got caught in the destruction derby. The monster truck slammed into them and smashed them to pieces. Yes! Now to find that letter. Hi! Where are you going? Oh, uh, I was just leaving. Nobody comes to the rank and leaves without participating. When it gets that fancy paper over there. I turned and saw that the prize was the letter I was seeking. That's it? That looks like I'll have to win or die trying. On days 90 through 92, I was participating in the monster truck showdown. Round one began and it was time to show the judges what I was made of. I began using my massive monster truck size to pulverize the smaller cars. It seemed that the judges weren't entertained by the beatdown. Boring! To spice up the show, I used my flashy transformations to turn into a steamroller to woo them as I finished destroying the rest of the cars, winning the first round. Round two began and it was looking like I had to clear an extremely long tightrope. Thinking quickly, I used everything I had to transform myself into a motorbike. Using its two wheels, I was able to carefully ride across the other side, no problem. The final obstacle was the most perilous of them all. I had to jump over 10 helicopters in a row. Luckily, my current form was just the thing for this. I used my overwhelming speed to zoom down the ramp and up and over the deadly spinning blades. The jump was long, and it was looking like I might not make it out of line. I inched closer to the end and managed to land without a scratch on me. Looks like it's time for the final test. And what is that? Beating ass in a fight. 
<laughs> With that, the monster trucks drove towards me, eager to crush me beneath their massive tires. On days 93 through 95, I was locked in combat with the monster trucks to get the lost letter. The trucks chased after me with no relent. I wanted to fight back, but my energy was depleted and I couldn't transform. I was trapped within a smaller, vulnerable form. I had no choice but to run to avoid being crushed beneath their gargantuan wheels. However, even at a distance, the foes still posed a threat as they were able to hit me using their long-range fire abilities. Desperate to avoid their onslaught, I weaved to the line of helicopters, but the trucks refused to grant me even a moment of respite, crushing the helicopters and destroying my only source of cover. Despite everything I tried, the monster trucks were powerful enough to take on every attack I threw at them. If I don't do something different soon, I'll be squashed. I mustered up all of my strength, feeling my powers activate and transform me once again, this time into an even stronger monster truck form. With a monster truck body, I was able to blast devastating flame punches. The monster trucks were terrified of me and immediately tried to run. I chased them down, knowing that without defeating them, I couldn't get that letter. I blasted my mega subwoofer speakers loud enough to shake the stadium, the quakes weakening the trucks even further. After a while, I managed to take one of them down. I chased down the remaining contender, delivering heavy hits with my new form. While the monster trucks may have been immune to fire damage, they were not immune to blunt force trauma. Thanks to my new strength and abilities, I was able to win the fight against the opposing monster trucks. A deal's a deal. The monster truck was about to hand me the letter, but before I could take it, the truckosaurus commander from the farmland appeared and destroyed the monster truck instantly. No! <laughs> Between days 96 and 98, I was confronted by the Drugosaurus's commander. Looks like you survived that pumpkin monster's wrath. Why do you won't be having the same luck with me? Bring it on, man. I'm stronger than I was before. I charged into battle to take down the commander. In a ferocious display of sheer strength, the foe slammed his massive fist at me, hitting the floor with so much force that the ground shook with his might. The enemy then summoned miniature versions of himself to do his bidding. His goons ran towards me, but I made quick work of them. Them, blasting them with my deafening sonic boom. The adversary attacked once more, sending chunks of the ground flying up so hard that I was knocked into the air as well. I attempted to fight back as best I could, but the foe was just too strong. Even from a distance, I was not safe from the commander's wrath as he sent a beam of red energy cascading towards me from below. <sighs> He's tough. I'm not sure I can win. I was at the end of my rope, but then I remembered I had one last trick in the glove box. I drove over to pick up the letter I won. Here goes nothing. I read the letter and then suddenly underwent my ultimate transformation into a golden Lamborghini hover car. I gained 10 more hearts, the ability to fly, and an all new power of Lamborghini lightning. With my new model, I raced through the skies as the commander tried to swap me out of the air, but I was much too fast for him as I rained down thunder and lightning. He couldn't even lay a finger on my hood ornament as I blasted my music as loud as I could through the speakers to knock him off his feet. With my newfound powers, I was able to take down the Truckosaurus's commander with ease. So this is what ultimate power feels like. Suddenly, the Truckosaurus plummeted right down behind me. And soon, it will be all mine. On day 99, I was face to face with my arch nemesis, the Truckosaurus himself. Surrender yourself to me, and I might consider sparing your pathetic little friends. Let them go now! <laughs> and why would I do that when I have you right where I want you? Die! The Truckosaurus charged towards me, ready for a final showdown. His giant metal claws clamped down with great ferocity and bursts of raging hot fire shot out from his mechanical maw. I retreated to the sidelines, but the foe was relentless, storming after me with great speed. Like a matador of the bull, I avoided the enemy's charge, causing him to collide with the stands at full force. Moving all around the stadium, I continued the cycle of leading the Truckosaurus to the sides of the arena, dodging his attacks and resulting in the enemy crashing into the bleachers. But eventually, the adversary saw through my tricks and took our fight to the center of the field. He fired an onslaught of lasers at me and attempted to class down on me with his claws once more. I took to the ramp, but the Truckosaurus decimated it in an instant with his attacks, leaving me with nowhere to run. The two of us were unleashing the full extent of our powers. Quickly, the foe's flames covered the terrain and his lasers created gaping holes all along the battlefield, making it more and more difficult to navigate as our epic fight raged on. It was neck and neck, 
I was holding my own for the time being, but the Trugosaurus was the most powerful foe I had faced so far. It was anyone's game. You know what will make my victory even sweeter? Knowing your friends are about to be scrapped as we speak. <laughs> I tried to leave so I could save them, but the Truckosaurus cut me off, blocking my path. I needed to hurry before they returned to scrap, but I knew I couldn't defeat him in time. Things were looking grim when all of a sudden the mighty helicopter from before came to help me. He shot down his grappling hook and reeled the Truckosaurus in the sky. Save your friends, hurry! I'll hold them as long as I can! Taking his advice, I rushed towards the junkyard. On the way, I rediscovered my destroyed moped friend. Max, you've returned! I take it you've defeated the evil Truckosaurus then? Well, not exactly. I was actually on my way to defeat him before he kills my other friends. Oh, wow. That sounds heavy. Yeah, not a fun time. Can I ask you a favor? I know you're in the middle of something. No, 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 no. I'm always looking to help. I mean, it's just like, you know, I don't want to put you out. Never. What do you need? Would you mind, I don't know, using some of that newfound power you got to repair me? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Sure, no problem. Thanks, pal. You're the best. I can't wait to feel my wheels again. I used all the strength I could spare to restore the moped's body back to normal. Wow, I'm all fixed up. Thanks, Max. No worries. Gotta go, though. See ya! With my moped friend back to full health, I set off to help the rest of my friends. On day 100, I flew to the junkyard island to find that my friends were already on the conveyor belt headed towards their certain doom. I'm coming! I flew towards them, but I was once again stopped by the Truckosaurus. Out of my way! Time was short. I couldn't let him stand in my way anymore. Channeling all of my power, I released released a flurry of electricity. Sparks flew all around the battlefield and bolts of lightning struck down onto the foe with a thunderous boom. Using my hovering abilities, I flew circles around the enemy. He flailed his claws around wildly, but it was to no avail. I was out of reach and he couldn't land a hit on me. Floating above the adversary, I unleashed a barrage of sonic blasts. I thought I was safe from the Truckosaurus's grasp, but he was able to hit me with his scorching bursts of fire, igniting me and setting me ablaze. I retaliated as best as I could, harnessing everything I had learned within the past 100 days, but it was no use. No matter what I did, I couldn't take the Truckosaurus down quick enough. I knew I needed to deploy another strategy if I wanted to save my friends. With a new plan in mind, I got as close as I could to the conveyor belt. As the Truckosaurus launched towards me, I waited until the very last second before moving out of the way, causing him to hit the conveyor belt instead of me. The conveyor belts were destroyed, and my friends landed safely onto the ground below. No! The Truckosaurus charged at me once more, but this time Time, I was ready and able to get the upper hand on him. I knocked him onto the conveyor belt. It suddenly jolted back to life and reactivated, killing the Truckosaurus the same way that he had killed my parents. With that, the day was saved. Honk, honk! Don't forget to pick up the MaxCraft All-Star Pack in the Minecraft Marketplace. Just click the link in the description. It'll help support the channel so I can keep surviving 100 days for you. Thanks for watching.